ನಿತ್ಯಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭಾಂದೇಶ್ವರಿಮ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome all of you, all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Sri Mahans, Mahans, Kotaris, Tanidas, everyone, visitors, viewers, Nitya Dhyan Yoga participants, everyone sitting with us all over the world. ತ್ರು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಸಾಧನಾ ಟಿ ವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸತ್ಸಂಗ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಹೌ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ what truth is when you express directly directly from the highest consciousness without mixing matching without mincing words please understand the experience of truth as it is is so subtle so beautiful it can be transmitted just by the right word itself please listen it can be transmitted just by the right word right listening of the right word is enough for you to experience the truth all the cities sitting with us all over the world please listen i did not read out all the city's names not because i am not able to see you i can see you but i just wanted to get into the satsang directly so i got into the satsang now listen before the satsang i was just sipping tea suddenly i felt exactly directly without waiting without waiting for you are listening if i speak that is upanishad without waiting for my speaking if you start listening that is upanishad without waiting for you are listening if i just start speaking the truth as it is that is what dakshinamurti is doing whether you listen or not he is showering he goes on same way whether guru, guru speaks or not if you are sitting in the space of listening you are in upanishad A real master goes on speaking whether disciple listens or not. A real disciple goes on listening whether master speaks or not. I just thought, if I straight start speaking from the truth as it is, what I will speak? Let me speak those words today without bothering about whether you understand or not whether you listen or not 
today i am going to speak that only and i am speaking that only oneness listen oneness is not one please understand oneness should not be equated to one this understanding is very important oneness is experience one is the mathematical number oneness is god one is not god oneness is god god is not one the non dual consciousness with every one everything please listen the non dual consciousness with every one and everything is the purpose of life and the oneness you experience in the non dual state cannot be equated to one when you try to equate that oneness to one all the mess up starts dilution distraction delusion starts then the fight whether one or two or many starts very important thing you need to know whether in advaita or visishta advaita or dvaita oneness only is experienced please understand whether it is advaita dvaita visishta advaita oneness only is experienced but when you try to equate that oneness to one an establish a system theory instead of establishing a process person who establishes a process for you to have that same experience is an enlightened being person who establishes a system is a religious leader person who establishes a theory is a philosopher when the system or theory is getting established to reach that oneness if you try to equate the oneness to one then the problem starts today i'll try to expand on the process of oneness look into you and see whatever patterns whatever ideas whatever thoughts brings conflict into you does not allow the experience of oneness in you start completing with them listen i am establishing the process for oneness maybe next few days i'll go on expanding on it sit and go on pen down the patterns which makes you move away from the original oneness space restful awareness the state for which you are yearning without even knowing for which you are yearning understand in all of us there is a yearning for certain state without even knowing for what we are earning we go on earn sometimes we think because of that yearning was so deep we think we are yearning for money or we think we yearn for just physical satisfaction 
sometimes we get scared and go crazy about that yearning. I use the word crazy. You just get scared what far you are yearning and go crazy about why you are yearning, what far you are yearning. Listen. Whether you get scared of the yearning or go crazy about the yearning or get attached to what you yearn, ultimately you are yearning to a state of oneness, non-dual consciousness. Ekatva is not eka. Listen. Oneness is God, God is not one. Be very clear. All the religions talk about God is one. One God theory is not leading you towards oneness of God. So I am not accepting the concept the God is one our theology God is one but I am very clear the fact that reality is God is oneness listen God is oneness and you are constantly yearning for that oneness which is in you or you are part of that oneness. Sit and pin down all the patterns which makes you feel you are away from that oneness which makes you move you out of that oneness. If you start pinning down the idea I am the body that usually makes you move out of that oneness. I am the mind makes you move out of that oneness your association with different patterns that makes you move out of that oneness listen but solution is not I am not the body that is the biggest mistake most of the Vedantis do immediately they start punishing the body and start declaring I am not the body I am not the body how much ever loudly you shout, scream, I am not the body, your body is only screaming, I am not the body. Even to scream, I am not the body, you associate yourself with the body. It's too funny. How the Vedantis commit conceptual suicide. Understand? Conceptual suicide. That's the right word I'll use. When you learn concepts, but you are not growing in the space of oneness, you learn concepts, theories, but you are not growing into Advaita, I'll call that as a conceptual suicide. Accumulating ignorance in the name of knowledge. Acquiring ignorance in the name of knowledge. Listen. Sit and pen down all the patterns which makes you experience distance, which makes you move away from the original non-dual consciousness the state of Advaita state of non-duality experience of Advaita sit and pen down all the patterns all the reasons all the identifications 
all the ideas all the thoughts you are having which makes you experience the restlessness agitation confusion delusion which makes you move away from restful awareness i am directly establishing a process for you to experience the non dual consciousness the advaita the state of advaita today i am not talking about any anasin metasin how to remove your headache knee pain how to have good relationship with your family or teamily no i am not talking any of that listen i am very straight i am establishing the process for you to experience non dual consciousness so listen come to the space of listening and listen this can directly take you to the non dual state of consciousness sit and pen down all the patterns ideas concepts theories thoughts which makes you move away from the non dual state advaitic state it can be as simple as i am the body to as complicated as i am my wealth sometime people are ready to die but not ready to give up their wealth because their affiliation association idea of connection with wealth has become far more deeper than the idea i am the body very funny thing people start eating to be alive but every year millions of people die because of eating people start eating to be alive but every year millions are dying because of overeating because by and by they associate themselves with the food more than their body or ability of the body to make the food into life their ability to make the food into their life ability to convert the food into life is far more important than just eating many times listen many time in the attachments and delusions the purpose is lost as i said you start eating for living finally just by eating you die you are ready to die but not ready to reduce your eating i am not even asking you to give up eating reduce your eating just few days before i read an article every year at least 3 weeks fasting cures you from various illnesses possible diseases because the three weeks of fasting puts your body into the survival mode it starts raising its immunity level and it starts raising the frequency of its existence by itself our nirahara samyama is exactly three weeks 
once in a year nirahar samyama is really wonderful and good due to popular demand and i also wanted to restart the regular nirahara samyamas in the morning satsang itself from july 1st we will be starting restarting the next batch of nirahara samyama i myself will be guiding because tons and tons of people more number of people die by overeating than the hunger and surely all of you who are listening now the satsang whether directly or through the video conferencing or nityananda tv your problem is surely not hunger and you are not going to die by hunger your problem if at all it is going to be only overeating so i think this time that we start nirahara samyama tons of diseases gets cured listen thousands of people are more afraid of speaking in the stage than death please understand it's a scientific survey study research report people are more afraid of speaking in the stage than dying why you know so attachment with the identity becomes more stronger than the attachment with the idea of body all i am trying to ask you trying to tell you is pen down all the patterns ideas concepts which you think is making you move out of this non dual state of consciousness for example if your list runs runs like i am the body i am the mind i am the identity and all that don't immediately start thinking i am not the body is the antidote no i am not the body is not the antidote that is not the solution the moment you start thinking i am not the body you start torturing the body and punishing the body and you think punishing and torturing and conquering the body will lead you to that non dual consciousness no it is not nirahar samyama is not torturing your body punishing your body you need to know that because it is not fasting it is awakening one of the extraordinary powers of your body by the proper methodology understand it is just awakening one of the greatest powers by your body as producing the food directly from the nature if that power is awakened even 50% that is enough it means i mean to say even if your intake is reduced 50% you will be free from the diseases old age and sufferings of body mind sufferings of body mind sufferings of body mind combination so understand don't say i am not body i am not mind i am not my identity no the idea i am not the body i am not the mind i am not the identity is not going to solve the issue start completing means find the root when you started identifying yourself with the body strongly 
start identifying the root incidents when you started identifying with your identity strongly start finding out when you started identifying with your different fears various identifications find the root start looking at the root start looking at the root incidents please understand if you start screaming internally or externally naham deham i am not the body i am not the body you are only going to cut the branches of a tree which will make the tree flourish more you are not going to destroy the tree but if you find out the root incidents when you started developing the identification with the body identification with your mind identification with your identity pen down the incidents and run down through it complete them relive them and relieve them then you will see you are shaking the very root the ignorance tree will be destroyed the tree of the ignorance will be destroyed listen how much ever you may scream i am not the body i am not the body externally or internally i am not the body i am not the body naham deham naham deham or even sing nabutya hankara chittani naham chitananda roopa shivoham shivoham no the person who originally sang the verse sang after completion but if you are using that you think that is the antidote for your incompletion you are wrong mano buddhya hankara chittani naham na cha shrotra jihve na cha gana netre na cha vyoma bhumir na ejo na vayu chitananda roopa shivoham shivoham when he sang he achieved from the space of completion he sang you go on repeating that you go on repeating that is not going to be the solution understand straight process for non dual consciousness advaita anubhuti is pinning down all the thoughts and patterns which distances you from the space of advaita and pinning down the root incidents when you started developing that ideas and sit and start reliving those incidents complete and drop i have seen so many thousands of human minds as it is just few days before a young man maybe 22 or 23 came to me and weeping crying saying that my uncontrollable lust even i am ashamed of it i don't know how to get rid of it i have started becoming pervert and started punishing my body left and right and he has even cut himself 
through the knife in the body and all. It was so pathetic. I just looked into him and gave him a very simple solution. For three days just sleep in your mother's lap, that's all. I asked him whether your mother is very loving and caring towards you. Which mother will not be loving and caring towards son? Even if the son is a thief and the robber or whatever can be the son. But mother will always be good mother. You can say whether son is a good son or not. But mother will always be good mother. He said, naturally Swamiji, my mother is very loving towards me. It will just go and sleep in her lap for three days. And I tell you, when he came back, I saw him completely a new being. He himself says, I don't know, how can this simple thing can be a solution for such a big problem I was struggling, Swamiji. He said, nothing. When you were a child, you were sleeping in your mother's lap. Suddenly, your mother has to run for something to attend. So, she moved you out. It was an unexpected blow for you to be moved out of your mother's lap, which you are clinging very comfortably, cozily. That moment, when you started crying, she ran to attend something in the kitchen. When you started crying, that is the moment you developed the idea you are the body and you need your own bodies to keep you in the space of completion. When you attend the exact pattern, solutions are always as simple as even feeling stupid. Sometimes you may even feel the solutions look stupid. An onlooker will naturally feel, who has not seen the result of this solution, will feel stupid. Young man comes and tells me, Oh, I am suffering with so much of lust, even I am not able to handle myself. Please save me. And the Swami says, Go and sleep in the lap of your mother for three days. It will become all right. And it becomes all right. What to do? Even though you really don't want, it should become all right. It becomes all right. Understand, I tell you, all your problems which moves you out of non-dual consciousness also will be simply become all right as just like this incident. If you attend the root incident, if you relieve the root incident, when you started developing that separation, that incompletion, that fear, that... When this guy came back, he says, Swamiji, suddenly I feel so content, so complete. And all my Everyday fantasy. He says, I have that fantasy hour, dream hour. All that has suddenly melted down. I tell you. Now whatever I am speaking, if you just bend down, when you started developing the patterns, ideas, moving out of your original Advaitic state, and relive, it will be literally like a miracle cure for tons of problems you have. Even not having self-drive is a problem. If you find out when you lost the Advaita, that is the time you would have lost your self-drive for life. Just do this simple process. First bend down the ideas, patterns, concepts which makes you feel you are away from 
your non dual state second think and pen down when that patterns have started developing in you how you developed those patterns those incidents third relive all those incidents fourth relieve and complete them fifth start living advaita non dual state of consciousness that's all i tell you if you are handling the problems it is like plucking leaf by leaf to kill the tree you are fool by the time you pluck half of the leaves the other leaves have started growing attend to the root that is the most intelligent way of solving your problem i bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching and causing eternal bliss nityananda thank you nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 0802727999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation